Hey everybody, Coach Steve here. In our previous Sword and Buckler video, we began the building of your tool set using Ward number 2. Today we're going to expand that and include Ward number 3. If you have not yet seen the video on Ward number 2, please click the link below. First and foremost, I need to be able to attack properly from Ward number 3. Like with Ward number 2, the view of my sword and my sword hand is obscured by my buckler. When I'm attacking, I want to make sure that the edge of my sword comes as close as possible to the upper rim of my buckler. When I cut, this keeps my hand behind the edge of the buckler and safe from any impact. If I need a steeper cut, I simply open the door, like with ward number two, and this gives me additional angles to attack to choose from. Hey everybody, do you want to join a community of sword-loving like-minded people? Check out our free Discord server. If you like today's video, subscribe and shield knock that bell. Now that I've expanded my attacks with ward number three, we're going to look at the defense. My defense position is the same as with ward number two, but this time the sword is coming from my left shoulder instead of my right. And the best way to do this is to bring my sword forward in a slight rising angle and then having the midpoint of the blade come to a rest on the edge of the buckler at the midpoint. Now that you've practiced attacking and defending from ward number three solo, it's time to put this into a partner drill. Both me and my opponent will be in ward number three. One will attack, one will defend, and we cycle rolls back and forth as we're circling as if we were sparring. One, and then two. Go. Hey, if you liked today's video and want to check out one of our live online classes, click the link below. And a big shout out to our Patreon supporters, we couldn't do this without you. As I always say, if you train how you fight, then you'll fight how you train.